Welcome, welcome to another episode of Beyond the Trenches. This is episode seven. This is kind of a uh, half season. Uh, we are with the NFL, so we're gonna do like a, a little show to talk about what we think about the players and the teams as we get to the half point of the NFL season. Uh, I'm your host, of course, Big Mike. We also got our uh, esteemed panel, Toby. What's good, uh, Jeff? You, Jordan? You. Yeah. And Robbie. Yep. All right, let's jump right into it, fellas. Okay, so I did want to talk about one game, at least the game of the week, uh, Pittsburgh versus uh, Baltimore last week. And uh, what were your takeaways uh, from that game? Jeff, you can start it right up. Uh, that was a good game for Pittsburgh against a formidable opponent. Uh, it's really two full, too, because you know what? It said a lot about Pittsburgh, but then it said a lot about Baltimore. And that's why I knocked them out of my top five a long time ago. And you got some kinks in the armor. And um, Big Ben is good. I like that. Um, damn, I'm starting to think. I think they got like two or three straight terrible opponents. They could be 10 and 0, really. And, but I don't know if they want that pressure of playing undefeated every single week. And then, you know, trying to get ready for the playoffs. A lot of teams take that L so that way they don't have that extra added pressure. But it was a good game for Pittsburgh. You know, um, they, get, they on both ends. Defensively, they not where they want to be. The call at the end was iffy, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, after they lost Devin Bush, the linebacking court been kind of a little different. They've been kind of plugging people in and out. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, what, that's why they made that trade. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, so they've been trying to find somebody to fill that gap, and they haven't been able to have much success. Uh, Baltimore, I think, ran really well, didn't they? They ran for something. like 200 yards, right? Yeah, yeah so I mean that's another that's another evident thing of that defensively, but Pittsburgh looking good. We'll see what's going on, you know, in the next couple games, about three games out. All right, Jordan, what you thought about that game? What's your takeaways? Um, I think it said more about Baltimore than it did about Pittsburgh. Um, when you look at the game, I mean, it's more about how the Ravens lost that game more than the Steelers won that game. Um, I got it right here. Ravens had nine penalties compared to the Steelers three. Ravens had four turnovers compared to the Steelers one. Ravens dominated dominated time of possession, you know what I'm saying? But they couldn't cash in. And I kind of expected the, the Ravens to be able to run the ball on the Steelers because on the type of defense that you the type of defense that the Steelers play, where you can gash them is up the middle. They were able to run up the middle. They only got that nose tackle, and then you got the DNs, and then you got the linebackers. So they were able to gash them up the middle, but they just couldn't cash in. Lamar had, I think, two picks. Um, I don't know. If he, he had two picks, and I believe – did he have a fumble? I can't remember if he had a fumble or not. Yeah, he had four he turnovers. Four yeah, turnovers, yeah. Four, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think it's more about – worry. I think it's more about the Ravens losing that game than the Steelers winning that game because if you take away the turnovers, the Ravens probably win that game. They dominated time of possession. So, I think the Ravens – I think it more, says more about the Ravens losing it than the Steelers winning it. All right. Uh, Ravi, what are your thoughts on the take away from the game? Um – I think it always it goes back to uh, Lamar Jackson and his inability to consistently throw the ball. Um, he was inaccurate. He turned the ball over, and it's it's gonna start. People are gonna start questioning if he's gonna be able to be that guy that's gonna get you wins in the playoffs. As electric as he is, and we all know he's he's a great quarterback. But if if he's struggling with accuracy when the receivers are wide open, there's a big red flag right there. Uh, but props to the Steelers too. They uh, their defenses look good. They're 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 playing good football all, all the way around, and uh, that's why they're the last seven or undefeated seven team. Old team. <laughs> all right, to the Steelers fan, Toby. Um, it was a good one for the Steelers. You know, we we uh, remain undefeated. Love to see it. Love to see it. Seven and zero, no losses. Um, the pressure of being undefeated like this week. I just wanted us to play good. You know. Um, cause I feel like we're going to split with them anyway, but at least we won over there, you know, we won in Baltimore. So that was definitely a good W. Uh, Lamar Jackson. I think that the, him having, uh, four turnovers is really what decided the game. I feel like that's, a, that's too many turnovers, you know? So, uh, um, they play good. They ran the ball on us. Nobody really runs the ball on us and they ran all over us. Like they did what they were supposed to do besides the turnovers and they don't turn the ball over. Like they did, they possibly could have won that game for real, for real, because they were dominating the time of possession, and we led the league in time of possession, um, dominating time of possession. And they took that away from us, so um, definitely a good game for us. But 
we need to do better against them next time, stopping the run. And I don't think Lamar's going to have four turnovers last time. So we got to play better defense and a little bit better offense. But overall, 7-0, so I'm happy about that. Lamar's last two-interception game was against the Steelers last year. Last year, yeah. Yeah, so, three interceptions that game. Right? Three interceptions. Mm-hmm. So they got his number. Yeah, we do. Go ahead, Mike. What you think? <laughs> Well, as the other resident Steeler fan here, I'm gonna say that I'm really sucked <laughs> up. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what not? Uh, you know, so happy that finally had to bring it out for y'all. Still <laughs> uh, <laughs> got the tag on it. That's how I tell y'all, bro. Yeah. You know? No, I keep it on there because NFL official. I had it for this for years or whatever. Okay. Anyway. That's uh, one one day he paid for one day shipping on Amazon Prime. <laughs> 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 This guy. <laughs> but that was good. <laughs> nah, nah, I had it. Jordan, no, I, I said a picture that years ago. Whatever. But anyway, nah, I, I think that uh well, I'm getting to Lamar on the next topic more so. But um I think that um the Steelers, I don't know. I think they were like I told you been saying they were eight and eight last year with no quarterback. You know what I mean? And and now he's brought back, you know, the defense and, and and getting better. I think Connor was hurt last year too, wasn't he? I think something like that. Oh, some no, games. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, he, no. he healthy and stuff like that. And I think that um, you know, the receivers, they, they like like Jordan said, they, they're a great trio, even though no one really stands out. So I think it do show a lot, man. They it was like it's gonna be a tough out and in, in the playoffs and whatnot. I don't think um and I think that you know more and more teams get more and more film on Lamar stuff like that. So yeah, uh he made mistakes, but some of the mistakes like the Steelers made him make those mistakes. So mm-hmm. I just feel like that um you know that but let's move on to the second topic because it goes more into Lamar and um Hollywood Brown tweeted that he was upset, you know, because he don't get no targets and he don't get no get the ball and stuff like that. So, how you feel about that? Like, you, you uh, what do you think about that, Jordan? Like, should they be upset the receivers up there? Um, so I actually, I, I got actually, I did some research. Like I know, y'all, I know y'all like numbers, so I got some numbers for you. In 2019, Lamar Jackson was number one in QBR, third in ratings, and eighth in completion percentage with the same wide receivers he just had last year, including Marquise Brown. So, if I was him, I would be upset. Um, but you got to be more upset with Lamar. I think they use them just fine because it worked last year. I think he's the problem this year. They are the 31st ranked passing offense in the NFL. He ranks 29th in percentage. You know, who's 31 Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz. <laughs> <laughs> there are, he has 12, he's got 12 passing touchdowns this season. You know, who else has passed 12 uh, passing uh, touchdowns this season. Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz has more total touchdowns than he does this whole season, which we're not even going to get into that. But I mean, like, there's guys who their QBR Gardner Minshew, Jared Goff, Matt Stafford, Fitzpatrick, Rivers, Kyle Allen, and Derek Carr all have a better QBR. Including them, they all have a better passer percentage. And Cam Newton, Jimmy G, Joe Burrow, and Justin Herbert, they all have better completion percentages and QBR than Lamar Jackson. So I don't know if he should be – he shouldn't be upset with the coaching. I think he should be upset with Lamar because, like I said, it worked last year, and he was just throwing – I don't know. Like, I wouldn't say he got – I wouldn't say he got better as a passer from this year going into uh, – from last year going into this year. I think it's more scheming and play calling. Like Mike said, defenses are king on the run, and they're forcing him to drop back and throw the ball. And a lot of those completions from last year off of play actions – little, you know, dump offs where guys are taken into the crib. Now they're taking away all that shit and they're forcing him to throw the ball downfield accurately 20, 25 yards. And he can't do that. So I don't, he should definitely be upset. He should definitely be upset with Lamar. I don't know if I would direct that towards the coaching, even though I did notice um, like while watching the game, they're kind of basically Kind of how Vic was like, Vic was like, I remember watching the Vic documentary. Vic was like, I never bothered to watch film because every time I dropped back, if somebody wasn't open, I knew I was going for 40. Mm-hmm. And I think that's basically what, how they're treating Lamar. They're basically saying, well, we're going to throw it, make a play. And he's dropping back. He's going through his progressions. And if nobody's open, he's kind of scrambling and trying to run. And that's kind of where some of those, you know, interceptions and those fumbles come into play. 
So, the, you know, the, the, the Marquise Brown and, and the receivers should definitely be upset, but it's more about Lamar than, you know, the coaching staff, I think. Okay. What about you, Jackson? You think the receiver, if you were a receiver, would you want to play with him or play there? Or you think they should be upset? In Baltimore, no. I mean, Lamar just – he just not a, a – listen, I don't know a running black quarterback who was ever really that accurate. Just to be transparent. Vic wasn't Vic, that accurate. Vic towards the end of his career. Who? Yeah. Vic? No, he, got, he was a great passer on the Eagles. I mean, no, that I, scheme was perfect. Like accurate? Like accuracy? That was not for – Patrick Mahomes is probably the best uh, – or, say, or Russell Wilson. Or Wilson, yeah. Russell Wilson, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll give. You I was that. actually gonna say McNabb, but McNabb was like accurate, but he wasn't that accurate. He wasn't he fucking was accurate. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he I threw dud so much. How many times <laughs> he threw it in the Mc, Steve, Steve McNair was more accurate. I would say McNair, yeah, not McNair. 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 Yeah, I think yeah. he was proficient, and I don't know if that that equates to accuracy. Steve McNair, I think he just had a high completion percentage because he didn't really like. He wasn't hey. Peyton Manning with it. He right. took what the defense gave him, and he got yards. Hey, he I mean, he never threw for, like, 5,000. Like, And I know 5,000 is the threshold, and it's crazy. But, again, back to the fact that matter. Um, you know, the receivers shouldn't be mad. You know, uh, I can equate to the talent that Lamar is in a great passer, so why aren't they understanding that? You right. know what I'm saying? And, you know, again, it's just going to prove that as time goes on that those passes he made last year – and the numbers weren't gaudy. They were just consistent. He only threw, what, 35 touchdowns last year? Nah, he threw, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he threw 35 yeah. touchdowns. Yeah. Dude, yeah, that's, so- that's like kind of like, okay, that's not really gaudy. Like, yo, he threw for 48, you know, or 46 touchdowns or 40 touchdowns. But he was, you know, efficient and the guys caught the ball. But everybody shuts up when you win. So we'll see. Yeah. Well, what you think about playing uh, receiver for the um, Ravens? Yeah, I mean, like I said, the defenses are catching up with Lamar, and he has to grow. He hasn't gotten better as a passer from this uh, from last year to this year. Um, he has to do better. Um, I'm not sure what else to say about that. He needs right. to evolve when it comes to passing the ball. Um, I don't think he's ever going to be like one of those elite throwers because that's not his game. He just needs to get a little bit better and then, you know, combine that with what he's doing now. But, yeah, they're just catching up to what they're doing. That's all it is. So, I mean, uh, Robbie? Um, I mean, I, I know I touched on this a little bit in the first segment, but I know I won't you did, yeah. go too long. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's just missing his receivers. Some of them are open downfield. He's overthrowing them. It's just that the last play of that game, it looked like he already knew where he wanted to throw the ball. And he threw it into triple coverage, like, doesn't matter how accurate that pass is, he's never going to get caught. Um, so, I mean, we know we know how elite he can be. And, like, obviously he was electric last year, but 13 for 28 with 200 yards, come on, that's pedestrian. Well, that's, that's Carson Wentz like yeah. right there. <laughs> yeah, a little bit better than Carson. <laughs> No, um, I think uh, I'll be mad too, man, because you, you don't want to. If you're a receiver, especially somebody like Hollywood Brown, who want to, you know, go downfield, you don't want to block ninety percent of the game or whatnot. Like you want to use your talent. Plus, like they get paid too, and and their stats matter. So if he getting six hundred yards a year because he not never getting no target to the ball, I'll be a little upset too. So I get why the receivers, you know, I mean, receivers are divas, of course, we all know that. Yeah. But in that, but in that offense. It's like, bro, <laughs> like I'm never freaking <laughs> getting targeted if I was a receiver. Go ahead, sorry. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I, I was going to say, I like, did you guys, like, so they, they threw the ball 28 times. Is that not enough? I mean, I get what you're saying, but you, like, they threw the ball 28 times. I mean, you know what I mean? He only completed 13 passes. So they were throwing, they, they, you know what I'm saying? They threw the ball. He just, he, 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 well, yeah, well, no, 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 no. It's not about, I'm with you. It, it's about, I mean, it's not about the sum about the coaches, but it's more about Lamar. Or whatever. Yeah, you know, I agree right. with you 100%, 100%. Yeah, they got to, you know, uh, I mean, he's not accurate, obviously, but I'm just saying, I'm talking about from the receiver point. Like, I'll be uh, mad, and I'll be I'll be upset, too, because, again, I don't know I'll, how many is this, his second year or whatever, but if I'm Brown, I'm second. like, look, okay, soon I'll be up for a contract, too, bro. I got to put some numbers up or whatever. So. Shit. I don't know. I might be all right and pay the block. Shit. Fuck it. <laughs> if you're winning, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right? Well, that, <laughs> it's the way it is. 
Nah, receivers want the ball. I mean, I don't care who you are, bro. Going all the yeah. way back to beginning of time, yo. And especially yeah, if you're that money. young, you yeah, their money. And if you're that young, you want to show what your talent is and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, and then yeah. and then I think I think it works, like you said, if you're winning. But like in a loss, if you had what, what, do, you, what do you have Sunday two uh, targets? Yeah, yeah. Brown target. Yeah, it was yeah. good. I, what the, I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, I'll be mad too. Like, damn, I've been out here all day. Get two targets? Like, come on. Not, man. I will say this though, not for nothing, but he's not a complete receiver. So, yeah, you know, he's really not that good, honestly. Yeah, I don't so know for you didn't even funny. Like, I get you want the ball, but you can't run no slant. So, what? What can they? You know what I'm saying they can only run you on a couple routes. That goes mm-hmm. back so, to what I've been saying all along, and which, and this is why I applaud the Arizona Cardinals. You got to get your young quarterback a big target, man, like a go-to yeah, it, guy. It, everybody needs that, yeah. You should have got – you think I does? Huh? You think I does? Who? Yes. Practice squad. Yeah, right. You got to activate and, and You know what? Man. You know what? We're talking about Des of what? What's that? 06, Mike? 09? 06. We're talking about that, yeah, 2013, Dez. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know, <laughs> niggas, 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 06. <laughs> Dude, I, I couldn't believe when I saw he's only 32 years old. Yeah, um, like that is remarkable. This dude was but, kicked out of the league at 20, what, 28? 29, 29, 29, 30, I guess so, right? Yeah, yeah. but it's sad. either way, like, it's not... Lamar needs a big target, he needs somebody that can he can just go to without having to try to get his rhythm up so he can be accurate or try to be accurate. I don't know, man. Listen, Lamar may wind up like Cam having that great one season and then going downhill. I was gonna say, that one season wasn't even that great. It worked last year, though, with the same receivers. He, he's the problem. So that's why I'm like, for you to be like, I get you upset that you don't get the ball, but you ain't fucking D-hop. So what, 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Like yeah, you said, yeah. Jeff, I agree that they would, they would be a lot better if they could have a receiver where they could just throw it up to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got to the playoffs without it last year. Shit. You, that's why you, I'm shocked that Matthew Stafford doesn't get any wins. Like, damn, you got Kenny Galladay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Megatron, that's, he wasn't winning. Come on, Kenny Gallagher. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> that backwards. We got Megatron. Like, yeah. damn, bro, you just can't win? Like. And Stafford actually way more talented at quarterback than Jackson, to be honest with you. So, yeah, he's got like, what, 50,000 passing yards? He's hot. He's close. Yeah, he he's up there. Up that list. Yeah. He, he going to end up like a fucking Marino, though. Well, he won't be Marino, but you know what I mean. They both like feel like, more like, like, like Philip Rivers. Or something about. Yeah, yeah, throw for all the Phillip yards. Yeah. Not do a damn thing. He had a great game on Sunday, Rivers. Hey, you know what? I was the, the, Colts, the Colts is winning now when y'all said yeah. Watt, Rivers is washed, Toby. Oh, he is definitely still washed. They are. <laughs> he had a good game, but he's a fucking child. Toby, Yo, think, Toby also said Brady was washed, so. Brady is, Brady is, Brady is, he's better than Rivers. Brady's okay, baller. Uh, Rivers is washed. Rivers is washed. Lions nah, washed. I, yeah, I got to agree with that. He did that. What, what, who did he, who did they come back against? Uh, you're talking about the they Bengals? Five and three, it don't matter. Was he, it? Losing them yeah. Game. Doesn't yeah. matter, they're winning. Yeah, I mean, he's not, I mean, I'm, nobody's I still think he's washed. I mean, we'll see in the playoffs when they do yeah, shit. Not, yeah, T.Y. Not, not doing nothing. Yeah, T.Y., I dropped that. He's T.Y. On my T.Y. T.Y. Wash. He's washed. He's T.Y. done. He ain't yeah. already? Big time. Big time. Why? Yeah. Like one week. What is that, Luck Jordan? Was his best years were with uh, with Luck after Luck, that. Yeah. Damn, I forgot all about Luck. Going one season. Forgot all about the man. Mm-hmm. He, he should come back, Luck. <laughs> too late, man. Sure. Two seasons. That's it. It ain't too late. What you talking about? You guys he all, this is second season off, right? Did um Carson Palmer do that? He left and came back. He was still nice. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I guess. Did you right. like to come back? He nice. Luck, luck is gonna come back. I, feel I think like. so too, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, he too injury. Take a couple of years off. Get healthy. Get your mentals right. You yeah. you can't get healthy when you missing the brutal punishment that you about to endure. Now, I was say, yeah. <laughs> like your body starts to lose that impact of it. Like I was say his his, <laughs> his injuries were a little bit more serious than Palmer's though too. Like he had neck injuries. He had, he had that neck injury. Yeah, Carson Palmer Her had like thing, and like leg injuries that you can come back from. I mean, I, I would Andrew Luck was so back. injured. He just never pra- he never he practiced. Was, and he he was so talented though, and... bro. Yeah. 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 He was like, yeah, where he was crazy. And it's crazy. Him and RG3 one and two in that draft, and they both don't play. <laughs> so it's crazy. But, 
I'm going to bring that up later, actually. All right, moving on forward, man. All right, so we're going to talk about this halfway point, and we just had the trade deadline we were talking about before the show started. So uh, uh, what teams you think made the best moves, made our best at the trade deadline? Let me ask Jordan, because I know you'll be up on it. So let's start with you. Honestly, like, we don't know because we got to see what they – you know what I mean? Like, the best fit that I saw, which would help the most for, like, the one team, I think um, – which I hope it would be, would be the Seahawks. I hope Dunlap can give them some pass rush because I think he's pretty decent. So I, I hopefully he can come in there and, 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 you know, make a difference. But a lot of the moves like that were made, like the Titans made a decent move. We'll see how that works out. Um, but I don't really see any team where you can be like that, that made a trade where it'll be like, well, that's the difference from taking them to the playoffs to a Super Bowl contender. I don't see any of the and majority of the teams – that made moves. You look at the Titans, look at the Steelers, uh, the Seahawks, uh, the Saints. You know, they're all going to make the playoffs, but who are out of those are Super Bowl contenders? You know what I mean? And who I don't are. think any out of those four teams I just named, you feel me? Yeah. yeah. I don't think any of the moves that they made puts them over the top and says, we're now a legit Super Bowl contender. So I don't really see any of them, you know being big. I, I I hope though that that Dunlap one could be big because I would like to see, it would be cool to see Russ get, get to the Super Bowl and I think that'll be key because they, they, they need pass rush. So, Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing Russ versus, um, versus uh, Big Ben in the Super Bowl. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> nice little rematch. Yeah. But um, what about you, Rob? Who do you think made some good moves to the trade deadline? Um, I mean, there was no, I, I guess there was no, not really like a blockbuster trade this year, like usual, but I think the Steelers made a great trade for that. Uh, what was the linebacker's name? Williamson. Yeah. I mean, they lost one, probably their best linebacker or I guess one of their best linebackers and this guy should pick right up. So yeah, good for them. All uh, right, Jeff, <laughs> my fault. Any thoughts? I think the uh the probably the best move in my mind was the trade for uh Quan Alexander to the Saints. Uh-huh. Um, because the Saints ain't really doing that bad without Mike Thomas. So the offense is kind of still there and they gotta get better on defense. Uh they've been to uh, you know, like championship games, so they kinda have no kind of what it feels like. They just kinda like one tackle away from moving on. And then you know, you got Drew Brees, and I never count Drew Brees out. So trying to make that defense better, because they already got the ball with Demario Davis. They got Lattimore at corner. He always getting scorched, though. And then they got the other ball, 43, who missed the tackle for the, you know, Vikings back in the day, Williams. Yeah. But if they can just show up that defense, you know, Drew Brees can make some noise. I mean, Tom Brady and them look real pedestrian last night a little bit. Like, when you take one player out, and the whole offense can't function. What if a player got hurt and he wasn't coming back? So I like the Quan Alexander trade. Yeah, you're in line. I can't wait to see that Saints Bucks game this Sunday coming up. Me either. So that's going to determine a lot, I think. Um, that's a lot of things, man. Uh, Toby, what do you think? Any trades stand out to you? Um, I like Seattle move. That was a good move. And the Steelers made a good move with their linebacker. But the Titans got uh, Desmond King, he's a corner. Um, I mean, he's not the best corner in the world, but his secondary beginning ripped apart. Um, you yeah. see what Joe Burrow just did to them. Yeah. Um, looking like a Hall of Famer on Sunday yeah. against them. Um, against so, bro, he he be he be shitting, but the Titans secondary is, is, is definitely trash. They have some okay corners, but uh, I think Desmond King is a good addition uh, to just add another corner in there to strengthen up the secondary. All right, and I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna go with y'all. None of what he said out to me, and I won't really up on him anyway. So I'll move on forward. Next topic is uh, which team or player um, has been the league's biggest disappointing disappointment? I guess so far. Let's start with our Robbie. What do you think on that? Biggest disappointment. I mean, uh, I guess I'll, I'll stay on the Lamar hate train for now. Okay. Um, just because the dude was unanimous MVP and the Ravens were supposed to have been better than a historically great season already. So them coming out, oh, not that five and two is anything to like scoff about, but it's not what we were expecting. They should have been busting up on these teams and they're, they're just not. 
Um, so I'm going to say, say Lamar has been very underwhelming this year. Uh, okay. Uh, Toby, what do you think? Um, I'm going to just go with Carson Wentz. Uh, <laughs> he is the most, one of the most disappointing players, I guess, because I just feel like he's regressing. I don't know what it is. The turnovers are just way too much. It's like, and this year, I mean, even though he's, you know, he has some injuries and stuff like that, but that division is is literally horrible. I mean, the best quarterback is supposed to convincingly win that division. And even though they win their games, like they just won against the Cowboys, right? But it wasn't convincing, you know? It just wasn't like we are better than the Cowboys and this is why we won. It was like they had the fumble at the end that gave them that bigger margin and Carson Wentz, Carson Wentz just turns over the ball too much. I mean, I don't know what's up with him. I mean, he's been doing it for years, but it's not slowing down. He's really, really a turnover machine. He, he will turn the ball over. So that's very, uh, that's very uh, sad to see. I didn't, I didn't know. I thought he would be better. You know, I remember when Mike used to always talk about him. You know how they used to always have Dak Wentz, Dak Wentz. That is clearly looks better, you know. I mean, he's hurt, he's gone, I he's gone. but he clearly looks better. And I remember you used to always have those, those debates, and I felt like, like now this is Wentz, you know, opportunity to prove it. I mean, he wins game, but he does, he is not literally like the main reason. I mean, they're playing trash teams, they, they just play the trash team on Sunday. So I'm gonna go with Wentz. All right, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> after all that, definitely what you go with. Uh, I think the biggest disappointment is probably Cam Newton. Mm, I, like um, I think people had some uh, hope that he would return to some form. And he was downright terrible. Anytime Fitzpatrick is out dueling you in your division, ugh, you're looking bad. Um, again, we all wanted to, or I'm going to say a lot of people wanted to use this year to determine was it Brady or Belichick. And he, right, right now it's looking Brady. You know, you give him some weapons, he looked like formidable. He did have the brain fart on fourth down back a couple weeks ago, but, you know, he is 43 and he is a six-time champion. But, yeah, Cam just been terrible. The fumble last week, like, <laughs> like I don't even know if they let him on the plane. <laughs> yo, like, yo, you got to stay here. But he's been terrible. And he's like, <laughs> not even 100-yard passing games, 200-yard passing games. But don't. what I'm going to say is this. It wasn't enough in there last year for Brady to throw to. So to think that plug Cam Newton in and he'll make those guys be somebody else, maybe the joke was on us. Uh, Jordan? Um, so when I first uh, initially saw the, the, the question, um, Lamar Jackson was definitely the first person that I thought of, like Robbie, due to what I had talked about when we, you know, the previous topic. But um, I have here on my paper, Carson Wentz. Okay. So it's been disappointing. And the team has been disappointing. He's been the most disappointing player in the NFL, probably next to Lamar Jackson, maybe. And they've definitely been by far probably the, the most disappointing team or one of the most disappointing teams. Um, and for all the reasons that Toby did illustrate, you know, he just regressed turnovers, Ill, you know, ill-advised throws, shit like that. Um, but I am just going to say this, because I'll get into my Eagles rant later. Um, <laughs> he has so much – he's dealing with so much deficiencies that they don't have. So when we lose when – we, when we've lost this year, like when we lost to the Redskins, that was his fault. When we tied against the Bengals, I would say that was his fault. When we lost to the Ravens, it wasn't his fault. When we lost to the Steelers, it wasn't his fault. When we beat the 49ers, it was because of him. When we beat the Giants, it was because of him. When we beat Dallas last week, it was because of him. So for as much blame as he will get for the losses, right, which I don't even give him all the blame for the losses, he is the only reason why we win games. So for that reason, he needs to be given credit because for what he's been dealing with. I'm not going to advocate for his bad play, but he needs to be given credit because for when we do win, he is the sole reason why we win. The only reason. You can't say I'm going. I'm not going to advocate for his bad play. 
But then Stella's like, it's not his fault. Because, like, he plays, he plays like, that. Bro, he, 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 he had, like, 20 turnovers this season. Yo, but, yeah, that position, yo, but, yo, but, yeah, but literally, he Terrible. puts us in a position to win every game. So you can sit there and say. Position of fight like, back at the end. Come exactly. back at the three you on just, the hole. Yeah, but you can talk about LeBron. LeBron, LeBron can shoot two for two for twelve, but when it matter, he might go fucking six for six and they win the fucking game. He plays shitty the whole game, but LeBron came came through. Nah. Carson Wentz is actually nah, proved but to be somewhat clutch. So and N- NBA is different. I mean, you can't like Wentz. You can't give him a pass for sucking it up against garbage I'm not, teams I'm and not, then I'm not praise him for coming back. But when we win games, why do we win games? But when we win games, why do we win games? We only Special win games because of him. Goofy plays, no. bloopers, no. like defense, defense. No. 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 You're in position no. to come back. If you play the good right. team, it's gonna be hard to come back. Exactly. Thank you. The only game that we've even gotten blown out is the Rams game. The Steelers I mean, game, listen, we were man. only in contention the, to win the, that the, game. The Ravens were smacking your no, team. the Giants. Don't get it twisted. Dallas, right. we were losing. And, and, and <laughs> you were losing to Dallas, bro. We should have been brought back. Come on, bro. Look at Dallas. Dallas is a first of all. All right, let me get Dallas into that. Trash, bro. No quarterback. <laughs> let me get into, let me get into real quick. Hold on. I'm gonna say this about Dallas uh, about that game. They surprised me because I came into that game didn't think it was gonna be a kickwalk because they've been getting disrespected all season. They've been getting cracked on all season, and I, I know Dallas came in there and said we damn sure ain't about to get disrespected by the Eagles. It's it's Eagles versus Cowboys. Fuck the record. Throw the record away. It was gonna be a good game because they hate each other. So when it comes to this rivalry, you throw the records away. This is a division game. We're going to get it banging. And I know Dallas sat there and said, especially Dallas defense. Dallas defense came to play. You can't discredit that shit. They came to play. They played well. They got ballers on that squad. They just ain't been playing well. So when they came into that game, they damn sure said, we're not about to get disrespected by the fucking Philadelphia Eagles. Now, we still won, but why did we win? Because of Carson Wentz. Every All game right. we won. We won because of Carson Wentz. All right. Yo, Alshon Jeffrey this to, uh, do $12 million next year. So maybe <laughs> he's just riding it out to, like, let some of his dead money come off the books. But it'd be nice to get Carson Wentz a star receiver. Look, that was a bad contract from the beginning. But, listen, I ain't going to go into that because I'm talking about that later uh, on my on my red. Jordan cracks me up. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I'm going uh, to switch it up and go with a team because – I ain't gonna say Carson Wentz because for me he is what I thought he was. So that's not really I'm not really disappointed. <laughs> but 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 for, um, for uh, I'm going with the Houston Texans as a team. I'm just mm-hmm. going there. They're one and seven. They came with high expectations uh, this year. I think they were pressing up for the playoffs on pretty much everybody's um, you know uh, everybody's thoughts. Um, I felt like you know they, they already fired the coach. He was trash in the first place. But like. I don't know. I'm very disappointed that they're one and seven. The defense ain't played well either or whatnot. I feel bad. Now, Deshaun, man, he had the receiver and now he's gone. So, like, you know, I, I'm hoping, yo, low key, I want to see o, Odell get traded to Houston for Deshaun or whatever like that. I think that would be tough, honestly. But that's Odell later down the line. That would be a terrible move. They ain't got D-Hop no more. She so don't matter. They got to get somebody. No, I know. It's so bad, though, because oh, it's so bad. I know it is, Great but number one receiver, and it's like the whole thing fell apart. That's why I'm disappointed in them as a team and whatnot. So that's my uh, disappointed team. I just want to switch it up. From y'all. Will, Will, Will Fuller is a top ten fantasy receiver. Shit. Oh, Fuller, no, no, I, I like Fuller or whatever, and and, and Cook's all right too, but it ain't D Hop though. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like Fuller really low key at number two, it ain't really number one or whatever like nah, that. Not for sure. Not like they're trying, they're trying to trade him the Packers. He was number yeah, two. They right were away. trying to. I was gonna say they really tried to make Fuller like a number one, and like he's played well this season, but like he's he's the best receiver, so he's gonna get all the targets. Right, but, right, right, yeah. right. So he went in number two. So yeah, I feel bad, but that's my most disappointed team. So I'm gonna go ahead, but uh, <laughs> Jordan cracks me up. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, just respectful, but I got that for later. <laughs> um, next one is okay. So let's go. Let's go on the positive side then. Which uh, who has been the league's most surprising team or player? Want to switch it to that going this season, Jeff? Who, who you like? Most surprising team or player? Uh, oh, that's tough, man. I mean, most most surprising player, DK Metcalf. Definitely did not expect him to explode like this. I knew he had potential and he was good, but 
D on track for like 1,500 yards, over 80 receptions, and like 16 touchdowns. Mm-hmm. So, again, that's just on track. Um, most surprising team, I say the Green Bay Packers. Uh, you know what? A lot of this season been without Devontae Adams. Aaron Jones is really that dude, yo. Like, I don't know. Like, he really, I think I said before, top five running back in the NFL. Like, his production is glorified. And Aaron Rodgers, of course, is Aaron Rodgers. But, again, a lot of games without Devontae Adams winning, leading the division. And uh, the Packers and DK Metcalf, again, I like, he just making Russell Wilson look amazing, man. So, there you go. All right. Robbie, what do you think? Um, uh, DK Metcalf definitely is a good one. Um, I'm going to say the Cardinals. Okay. Uh, I think Kyler Murray looks great. Um, and they're they're finally winning games, which is key. Um, and, and honestly, they're super fun to watch. Um, Kyler Murray's electric. D. Hop and him seem to have good chemistry. Uh, their defense is playing well. Overall, solid football team, and who knows? Maybe they could, uh, they could take that division even. Nah, they ain't doing that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they're playing good. Um, come on, Jeff in the basement. All right, uh, Jordan, who you got? Um, so the I got the Dolphins actually to be real. Um, <laughs> Uh, I mean, who expected them to be four and three, second in the second in the in the division, and with a chance mathematically to make the playoffs? I mean, who would have thought that? You feel what I'm saying? So, um, it's definitely the Dolphins for me. I think that uh, I believe in their coach. I believe in their um, the system that they have. They 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 do play great defense. They have a some some defensive players that don't um, get a lot of um, you know notoriety. Like they had they had two All Pro corners. Um, yeah. and then they got Raekwon McMillan, um, and Kyle Van Noy. They got a decent, um, you know, defensive line. So I'm, I'm in the corner. Uh, Byron Jones and Xavier and Howard. Um, Howard from Minnesota and Jones from Dallas. Jones from Dallas. Um, Howard used, I think Howard been with Miami, I, I believe. I think that he been with Miami. Jones and the crazy good. part at one point they had Fitzpatrick to the to the stadium. So that's, that's yeah. the crazy part. So, yeah. so I, they're definitely the most surprising. They, like I said, they low key have talent. I mean, they're young, but they low key have mm-hmm. talent. Like especially on offense too. Like they got Devontae Parker, they got Mike Kosicki. Mike Kosicki's an up and coming yeah. tight end. Parker's an up and coming wide receiver. Hey, we are fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we are what we what y'all didn't do last week. Toby, <laughs> um, I was gonna say the Cardinals. Um, I don't remember their record, but. Um, they're playing good football. Kyler Murray. Five and three. Five and three. Kyler Murray, um, he's really surprising me how he's – what he's doing in the NFL because, you know, he had a lot of doubts going to NFL. You know, they always talk about your height and stuff like that, but – and, you know, running away from defenders, but he literally still run away from defenders. Not like in the – not, not like in college when he was always – he was gone every time, but he's still doing it effectively <laughs> in short, you know, important spots where they get W. So – Definitely going with Kyler, uh, Kyler Murray, and especially if they make the playoffs, that's going to be impressive to me. The Arizona Cardinals back in the playoffs. They made that smart move to get D Hop. Um, we got him one of the best receivers in the league, and mm-hmm. he's and he's getting him the ball every t- uh, chance he gets. So definitely going with the Cardinals uh, and see if they can make noise in the playoffs uh, when the time comes. Okay, that's good. Um, surprising team. It's a, it's a few. I'm actually surprised that the Bears are five and three because I'll never never said that. Or they're gonna lose a third straight game. Yeah, they they gonna lose this week, but I'm surprised they're five and three right now. <laughs> Something like that. Um, well, yeah, they they they're they going down hell. And um, the Colts, I think Toby, I think Jeff mentioned them earlier, man. They're five and two right now. I would have never ever expected that. Like Rivers, you know, I mean, whether he watched or not, they win in games. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I didn't see them being that having that record at this point in the season. So I'll go with either the Colts, you know, uh, or the Bears, in my opinion. So, but uh, that defense the- is underrated. I mean, not yeah. underrated, but, like, not talked about enough. No, no I mean, they're, they, you know, they, they, they're the number one defense in the league. They got the number one. They they just not talked about, but, yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Um, but I mean, they, they got an offensive weapon, so it's, it got to be defense or whatever. But they had forty-one points the other day, so yeah. um, you know, surprisingly, I feel like when you can run, I feel like when you can run the ball, like when you can run. The, I mean, if you if you can run the ball effectively, you can score at any. At, you can score however you want. You can score as many points as you want. You can run the ball. For, people don't even I feel like people don't see that or realize that. Like 49ers last year put up points and they're mm-hmm. they ran the ball seventy percent of the time. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did. They did. That's true. Um, but this year they are injured. It's crazy. But uh, moving on forward, man. Coaches, man. Coaching. Who do you think been the best coach so far this year? Uh, Jordan. Who do you think? Um. I wanted to give some love to Brian Flores for the uh, Dolphins, but right now I got to go with Mike Tomlin. They're seven and zero. Didn't think they'd be seven and zero. Definitely think they definitely thought they'd make the playoffs, but definitely didn't think they'd be seven and zero. So uh, hats off to them for sure. All right, uh, Jeff. I can. I'm gonna agree. Uh, no, I'm not gonna agree. I'm gonna go with Brian <laughs> Flores. <laughs> We'll go with Blind Flores. Uh, you know, it was all good just a week ago, like <laughs> with Fitzpatrick, and I was concerned that they might have pulled him too soon. But Tua managed the game that they just played best he could, and they got the ball to bounce a few ways. But Brian Flores, four and three, Miami Dolphins. I, like, I never even thought I'd be talking about it. They might be – they're going to have a better record than the Patriots. It isn't that shocking, right? Maybe, so, maybe. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I don't know. I, I think they, I, I think they would have <laughs> if they would have kept uh, Fitzmagic in. I think they're gonna lose. I think two are gonna lose some games. In my opinion, Jeff, I had all the upsets on my ticket last week. Patriots were the only one that folded. I picked the Broncos, I picked the Steelers, and I picked the Dolphins. Why would the Patriots fold? The Bills are better than them. I thought the I didn't. I I, I mean I. I this the, first, the Bills is good all season. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I'm not gonna say the, good. They just got the formula. They got quarterback. It's the first time Bill Belichick's lost four straight since 2002. Mm-hmm. So I never thought that would that would ever happen. This season, it, it was close cool. to that too. There was a it and was, it was close. Yeah, was without close. the fumble. Yeah, this season's a wash. It's over. I mean, <clears throat> we'll see what kind of magic they pull off. Nah, I think he 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 gonna let Cam just play it out and keep losing. It's not man. Just keep keep on rolling with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then not let worth Cam it going. go at the end. And draft, a, and hopefully they're gonna have a high draft pick. Yeah, uh, Ravi, who do you think been the most surprised? And um, I'm in best coach so far. Best coach, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to Tomlin too. Um, I don't know if you guys remember two years ago when the Steelers played Jacksonville in the playoffs. Uh, Steelers yeah. fan over here, Toby. <laughs> That was an embarrassing performance. It was an embarrassing performance. <laughs> he said he should have been fired on the spot. <laughs> oh, 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 is that when Jacksonville came back and won the game or something like that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Back then. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like five picks. Yeah, so what? Uh, <laughs> so office days. <laughs> yeah. And uh, now they're 7-0. and Looking like they're going to lock up the number one seed, so... Gotta give it to Mike Tomlin. He's done a hell of a job. I mean, but like you said, they were eight and eight last year with with, with basically the the walking dead at quarterback. So you know what I'm saying? For him to just basically write the ship, like, okay. That's that shows you how important quarterbacks are in the league. Good quality quarterback. Oh, they're really important. And, uh, um after the Eagles, not joking. But um Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, of course, with my coach, Mike Tomlin. Um, Robbie's funny. I saw brought up that what happened with Jacksonville. That was an embarrassing loss. Um, I was in my bag. I was in my feelings. But actually, I mean, we went eight and eight with no quarterback. I kept saying it. No quarterback. And we won eight games. We literally had no quarterback, and now we're undefeated. And every week, you know, we get up to play. We got up to play the Titans. Right? Everybody was talking shit. Oh, they don't know. The Titans are the real deal. This is a test. We got them out of here. The Ravens, uh, we don't know. Blah, blah, blah. We got them out of here. So, and I think we play um, the Cowboys next. So, we're about to be 8 and 0, guaranteed. So, definitely Mike Town. I think he's going to win coach of the year. Um, for, especially if we, like, at one point we're 10 and 0, end up going like 13 and 3 or something. Or, hey, hey. you seen our You seen our schedule? <laughs> Man, y'all almost, y'all almost lost. 
What's your point? We won. I thought it was. A, I thought it was all about the W's, Carson. Right, right, right. 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 Hey, look, that's W, man. We almost lost. Listen, we almost lost. Look at the look at our schedule. We almost lost to. Um, Eagles almost won a lot of games too, so we're gonna see. Yeah, but y'all lost. That's the difference between our coaching. <laughs> coming coach. back, look, coming, I, coming back to win and almost losing. And like that's different. Like right. I said, it was a field. It was a field goal away from losing against the Titans. It's four picks away from fucking losing against the Ravens. All right, four picks is a lot. Cool, but W. I'm done. <laughs> All right, the W, man. <laughs> I love it. I, All gave, right. I, gave, I gave him the props. You feel me? I'm gonna give right. Tomlin the props, but All right, I'm, I'm gonna go away from that. I'm, I'm gonna go with uh with Cliff Kingsbury, man. I like what he's doing in Arizona, and I like um man, like he 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 he, he used Kyler the right way. It's good play calling. Um, that game against uh Seattle showed me a lot from him. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury, yeah, and stuff, and um. You know, he's young and up and coming. So I'm going to go with him. Him or B.A. I, I like Bruce Arians, too. I know he got Tom, so it kind of like, you know, make a little, little, little less. Coach, like yeah. But, but, but he's throwing some – One more uh, honorable mention, uh, Frank Wright in Indianapolis, too. Yeah. Who, 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 Carson, what you still has is right now, honestly. Frank Wright. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ever since he yeah. left, Eagles haven't been the same. Right. But um, yeah, I, I like Cliff though, man. I think he's gonna be a good coach in this league for a very long time. Honestly, Agreed. so uh, that's why I go. All right, next up we got all right rookies, man. Who's been the best? This is a tough one because you have some good rookies playing, good quarterbacks especially. Who's been the best rookie so far this season, Jordan? Let us know. This was hard for me. Um, it was obviously between uh, Herbert or Burrow. I don't think we've seen two rookie quarterbacks come come onto the scene and play this well since Luck and RG three. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I'm going to go with Burrow, even though well, I'm, I, I took Burrow and, and here's really why. So Burrow is actually third in the NFL in yards right now. He's got 12 touchdowns. Herbert has like, Herbert has like 15 or whatever. Herbert has a little bit more of a complete, a better completion percentage. It's like 67.4 and Joe Burrow's at like 67. Reason I give it to Burrow is because Burrow has less to work with. Um, you look at what the Chargers have, the Chargers have arguably two number one wide receivers. You can debate Mike Williams, but Keenan Allen's one of the top wide receivers in the NFL. Um, and they have a pretty decent defense, even though their defense has had some injuries to work, um, has had some injuries this year with the Chargers. Um, but I feel like uh, Cincinnati is, is, is just not as good, you know, as the Chargers are. So I'm, I'm going to give it to, you know, Burrow because and he's also playing in a tougher division. He's got to go up against, you know, the Steelers, the Ravens, and the Browns, you know what I'm saying, twice a year. Um, well, you know, this year. So I got to give it to him. Um, I don't think we've ever seen – they look like – they look like they look like polished quarterbacks. Like, they look like you would never know they're rookies. You know what I'm saying? Like, they look better than Carson Wentz. Shit. So. Um, I give it to Burrow. What about you, Jeff? Uh, yeah, Justin Herbert. You know, uh, was he from Oregon? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, again, and that's another example of a young quarterback having the dominant number one receiver in Keenan Allen. That defense is really good, too. You got Bosa. You got, uh, what's 54, Ingram. Then is Derwin James playing? No, nah, that's what I was saying. They, he's hurt. And I think Chris Derwin Harris. James is playing. But then you still got the cornerbacks, uh, 24, Adderley. Um, his dad played in the NFL or grandfather, something like that. So the Herbert is actually pretty good. Got a nice strong arm. You know, he's tall, he's in the pocket, he he throws well on the run. Of course, like most young quarterbacks do, but he's he's my shining star right now. All right, Robert, who you think? Rookie. Um I think Herbert. Um obviously Joe Burrow is really good too, but in less games, Herbert has done pretty much as much. Yeah, and yeah. part of that could be his weapons and uh, her, uh, Burrow's line is absolutely horrendous. Um, so I'm gonna say rookie of the year ends up going in favor of Herbert just because, and not that either team is good, but I think the Chargers end up with more wins. What are they now? Five and three? They're they're no, two and five. Know. Yeah, they're two no, and five. They're, no, they're two and five, five with like three heartbreakers. <clears throat> nah, yeah, they are two and five. But the so they gave up the lead three five. times in the last quarter. Yeah, yeah. 
Toby? The Saints game was bad. The the one over this weekend with Denver was bad. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, and and Burrow closed that. I mean, Burrow beat, you know what I'm saying? Burrow, they, they, they just beat the Titans. You know what I'm saying? He closed that shit out. It looked good. Titans definitely were looking ahead to this week. Who, who did they play this week? Uh, I think it's the Bears. Oh. I'm looking ahead for the Bears. You're not looking ahead for the Bears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, come on, like, you're not wait, really what? prepping for the Bengals, dude. Come on. Mm, yeah, just, <laughs> yo, I just think I said the Bears. Yo, we were just talking about how the Bears are good. Come on, Jordan, back me up here. Nah, I, I was going to say that. Group chat, you guys was, were like the biggest was, Bears fans I've ever seen. Mike Dick cut it over here. Mike Dick cut <laughs> nah, uh, They're pretenders. But um, I'm going with Joe Burrow, of course. I mean, he doesn't have the defense that uh, – that uh, Herbert has, he doesn't have the, he doesn't have the offensive line that he has, you know, and he shouldn't. He's a number one, he was a number one pick, so I'm gonna go with him. He's living up to the hype. Uh, he just beat a Tennessee, just beat Tennessee by what was that, 11 points? Yeah. So I mean, won like, yeah, they won convincingly with that one. So that was a great, you know, a great W. When Herbert had his one, his leads against um, Tampa Bay, when he had his leads Denver. against. The uh, the Saints. Denver. They had the lead against Denver. He blew them off. So I'm gonna go with uh, Burrow. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm with Jordan, man. I've never seen two rookie quarterbacks like this since you know RG three and Luck and whatnot. And um, they do look polished. Um, I like that Herbert like got put in off a freak accident, but never gave never gave a job back. He was like, look. Yeah. That's it, you know what I mean? So, um, so I do like that. He wasn't given the keys right away, but he took them. Um, even though you know Burrow was, it's real, real close, man. But I, I think Herbert is just a little bit of a better player, a little bit, not much. But I, I, I like Herbert, man. So I, I think I'm gonna roll with with uh with Herbert over overall. And, and if I were yeah, picking long, if I was picking long term, I would definitely go with Herbert because Cincinnati ain't never gonna win in life. So I would definitely go with Herbert. So. Not at all. Yeah, I say Herbert has the best chance of getting getting the getting the getting the ring before ring it. And I'll, yeah, I would say that for sure because of the team. Oh yeah, <clears throat> the way is crazy. I mean, you never know. Cincinnati could sneak something. Never. Fuck no, no. <laughs> <laughs> They never go away, bro. I'm sorry to say it. That's why they were saying Borrow shouldn't go there in the first place ever. That's why they saying um that uh what's the boy uh. Should go to the Jets, Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, should go to the Jets or whatever. That's New York, different. That's New York. Yeah, but NFL location doesn't matter as much as like Uh, NBA. Like Kansas City, you attract bigger free agents because you're a bigger market. You got more money. The Jets been bad for forty years. Don't matter what they are. I know, I know, and I forgot that the Giants were in New York, so that's why. Like you got, you got Kansas City. That's not a big market. (laughs) Terrible. Yeah, football um, is a little different than basketball. Yeah, they're, they're gonna go where you can go to win games, regardless of where that shit is. Yeah, at. people go to New England and you know what I'm saying because they want to win games, they want to win chips. Yeah, yeah, but they wasn't going there in the beginning. They just started going there when they start winning chips. Nah, I mean they've been. Are oh, you tripping, yeah. brother? New England tripping. was not a, a free agent destination for Bro. a lot of people. You forget Bro, they, were, they were in the Super Bowl like like '96 before they went in 2000. Like, they were Bill Parcells <laughs> built that team, and that was and that was a good team of bad draft picks. Of, of high I mean, draft picks, nah, yeah, good. that's true. But all, like all Willie things, McGinnis like, and all that, they but weren't people like still, a free agent people still sign there though. Like people yeah. still go there. Yeah, like huh? I mean like, now, map, now they probably don't. But when Brady left. <laughs> <Bell, laughs> Uh, dude, like, look at like uh, people are signing with Minnesota. No one's gonna sign with the Timberwolves. Nobody. But, like, you can get some good free agent. Like they had a, I forget who they signed in the off season, but like you Minnesota, right. Vikings, always, you yeah. can't even get great players to come there. Her cousins only went because they guaranteed his whole entire contract. That's be for and he was mediocre anyway. He was I don't know what Kurt was. But... <laughs> I don't know what Kurt was. <laughs> <laughs> For real, bro. Like I don't, I don't know, man. He was, he was like you got Buffalo. I mean, yeah, that, that's it's definitely. Yeah, nobody Florida. goes like, to the it's, 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 Brady it's close. Where, where, Florida, right? Exactly. Well, shit. Nobody was going to the fucking Dolphins. Nobody was going to the fucking Buccaneers until now. 
Players with the Bucks. Jacksonville. Nah, yeah. see, players went to the Bucks. Game. Players huh? went to the Bucks. They've been notoriously good franchise. Hey, hey. Ain't nobody go to Oakland. <laughs> they been in the neighborhood. It ain't no, but they gonna come to Vegas. I bet you. <laughs> uh, they have notoriously stuck. Who? Tampa Bay. Just now, did you want a chip in like what two thousand two? Um, bro, they, they suck. Had, they've had good management. They all right. They suck, bro. Revis went there, so I ain't mad about that. All right, Revis. man. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> um, moving on forward, man. Um, all right, defense, man. Defense. I'll pick, play on both sides of the ball. Uh, who would you currently put as the best defensive player in football? I guess right now, best way to word the question. Um, how about you, uh, Tobe? What do you think, man? Damn, That's I didn't want to. I didn't want you to, to start with me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go anyway. I'm gonna go anyway. I'm gonna, go anyway. I'm gonna be quick. Else. I didn't even. I didn't even. I really couldn't think of anybody. But I'm gonna go with T.J. Watt. He's a guy. Still is, you know, be undefeated. He probably lead the league in sacks. I'm not even sure, but he's wow. definitely up there. He's one of the. Uh, I think he's like number one tackled for loss in the league, though. Um, I think because we have two of those players that lead the league in tackles for loss, but definitely TJ Watt. He's a fucking force to be reckoned with. He's not JJ, but he's up there. You know, he's 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 creeping up there. He's becoming a menace to society. You, wow. You're gonna have to start putting two people on him. So, uh, yeah, TJ Watt is a beast. Take, take the stuff away from Toby. <laughs> All right, TJ. Well, TJ Watt. He, he wasn't ready, like you said. Um, <laughs> how about you, Jeff? Who do you think, bro? Obviously, Aaron Donald. Are you nuts? Like, <laughs> Aaron Donald. But, but, but we're talking about right now, like this year. So, say Aaron Donald? Yeah. So, I mean, Aaron, uh, I got you. Yeah, back. I think he got like seven sacks from the defensive right. tackle position. Nine. I got your back. Nine. Man. Like, he's got uh, okay. nine sacks from the defensive tackle position. I was asking. I'm, I was asking. All right, cool. All right. I'm just saying, like, I knew he was wrecking tear. I knew he was, like, wrecking the shop, you know, like a bull in the china shop. So, yeah. I mean, but again, you know, where did he decrease? He's still the best defensive tackle, the best defensive mm-hmm. player in the game. The mm-hmm. Rams are actually have a pretty good record in the ultra-competitive NFC West. And you know what I'm saying? They're not losing games. Um, they're they're but hit with the injury bug, I think, at the running back position, I think, uh, the backup guys. But you know, the the quarterback whisperer and Jerry Goff still kind of making some things work. And Aaron Donald is definitely anchoring that defense and still reigning supreme. So I remember uh, George I told me Fletcher Cox is better, Aaron Donald. Wow, I never, uh, but that's wrong. another story. Yeah, you did. <laughs> 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 I say he's right there. It's AD and then it's Fred. Uh, nah, he ain't right there. About, he ain't now right you there, talk bro. about a couple other guys. He's 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 gotten older. <laughs> uh, all right, man. All right. All right. Well, who you got? Best of first player right now, Jordan. So speak. Uh, nah, I mean, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald leads the league in sacks on a defense uh, that is top seven in points allowed, rushing yards. Uh, I think yards per game and uh, sacks. And they're top seven in all those categories. And easily can sacks. It's Aaron Donald. There's no, there's, there, there's no, de- I mean, there's, I don't know where else you could debate it. He did Watt. Second- what? <laughs> <laughs> he said, TJ Watt. All right, Robin, who do you think, man? Um, honestly, before his injury, I would say Miles Garrett was playing excellent, excellent football. He also, I think, has nine sacks. Yeah, he does. Um, but now with his his injury, he's gonna be out. Uh, I don't know how long he's gonna be out, but I I, I don't think it's like a torn ligament or something. But I, I think if we're talking defensive player of the year, it will probably be Aaron Donald again. But if you're talking up until this point, I think Miles Garrett has been the absolute yeah. beast. He he definitely could have got it if he if he didn't get if he didn't get this injury. Oh yeah, yeah, I definitely. Agree. I agree with and, you. And shout out to uh, BG, too, who's been playing really well this year. Fuck. <laughs> you know, Brandon Graham has been a monster. <laughs> yeah, he, he's top, he's wow. top five in sacks. He's top five in yeah, sacks. Yeah, yeah. He, he tried to finally get double digits, which he never got in his career, stuff like that. So, whatever. All right. I'm, is it, am I lying? Like, so. Look at the hurries. Look, look look at the hurries, and then you'll see that. They always yeah, talk we about gotta, Someone pulled the advanced. He's, he's got, <laughs> got like... 
the hurries, like they always talk about that shit with BG. BG's one of the best DNs, but whatever. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm just saying. Hey, had it. But anyway, all right. I'll probably would go with um no, I'm gonna go with Donald too, man. Donald might, I mean, if he's not already the best, you know, like it's it, interior lineman like ever, whatnot. Like, like yeah. he, he I'm just he, I'm gonna I was about to ask you because I was thinking about that shit. I'm like, so like the guys that come to my mind off the rip, like yeah. before Donald, are like 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 Warren Satin and shit like that, or like yeah. fucking um Casey Hampton was he wasn't really a sack artist, Casey Hampton, but he was like I, you give him a lot of credit. Was, okay. But I know I know I know ever you put Casey Hampton up there with Warren Sapp, G. No, no, I know, I know. But I'm saying like from my generation, you feel what I'm saying? Like the best is Warren Sapp from my generation. You feel what I'm saying? So do you see him better? Um, do you see him being better than like Warren Sapp? Uh, Donald? Yeah. 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 I mean, he definitely, I, I don't know if he's there right now, but he definitely, mm-hmm. like, getting neck and neck or whatever. He'll get right there, now. yeah. Yeah. Warren Sapp. Remember, got Warren Sapp played with, like, an all-time great defense. Nah, for sure. Well, not nah, like, Don, Donald, they got some guys. Donald's yeah, not there, playing Listen, like brother, brothers. listen, bro. There's no John Lynch on the damn Rams. There's no Hardy Nickerson for the Buccaneers. There's no who's the other guy, Mike? The Simeon, Simeon Rice. Yeah, Simeon Rice, yeah, like Brooks, John Lynch. I know about that. Yeah, saying, Brooks. Yeah, they're like, still Brooks the best. Is, they're yeah. still top seven defense. He's not playing with scrubs. Like, yeah, I mean, are right, you got, got Ramsey? Yeah, but who's Rock better? Ron, oh, who's better, Rondé or Ramsey? Whatever. Right, I Rondé. said Ramsey can Rondé. be because that he he just he just he's. he's, he's yeah, I want to say he's a long guy, but <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, like, he can, like he's like he's bigger, but that's it. Like they're kind of the same guy. Like they they were physical. They both can nah. tackle. They both can nah, cover. Rondé had good cover skills. Ramsey does too because he's linky, so he he covers a lot of ground. They but, both similar. Um, Phys- he's just more busy. He's just bigger. That's all. And, 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 and that wins. As of right now, I'm taking Rondé, but Ramsey again yeah. might get up there. I was say he'll get him. A, he can. But as far as uh, yeah, definitely gonna catch him. Donald might want up one of the top ten DCs of players of all time, let alone interior linemen. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. the, the, the career he's putting together from that position, like getting twenty sacks from them, it's crazy. By the way, because he because mm-hmm. he double teamed almost every play, like let alone like it, it's ridiculous. I mean, so. JJ J, JJ Watt did it too. I mean, let's not forget about JJ Watt. JJ, JJ Watt was tough. JJ was tough. And JJ did it too. JJ, JJ Watt had a couple seasons over twenty sacks, I believe, too. But he was he, he was but he wasn't the end, stats though. in all this era is the fact that it's, it's the passing era and they're throwing it 30% more than they've ever thrown the football now. Yeah. So, but I do agree with you on that, Mike, because it is different doing it from the D tackle position than yeah. D. Yeah, it's it's way different. Yeah. Bro, you, you never not double team from the D tackle position. <laughs> like it's almost impossible. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> well, I mean, it's crazy. As crazy as this might sound, like I can see how he does it because of his size. Like when you that like when you're that compact with that size and that that strength and that speed, it's easy to just shoot that gap, boom, and then just get up in there. You feel me? I'm not gonna say it's easy, but I mean he makes it look easy. But I can bro, see how he's he, so strong though, bro. It's crazy. Yeah. And when he when he get a hold of people, like they don't get away. <laughs> It'd be crazy. Yeah. Man. That's some real stuff, bro. But yeah, so I would definitely go with him, man. But uh, that was a good conversation. Moving on though. All right, now, now let's rank right now. As of today, yeah. this season, Jordan, the top – I'm not starting with you. I'm letting you know, though. Top five quarterbacks so far this season currently. Let's start with Robbie. On that. How do we get quarterbacks? What happened to teams? Um, I didn't get there yet, bro. That's regular. Oh, oh, all right. yeah. Um. Okay. Number one, I'm going to go with Russell Wilson. Just if we're talking – we're talking this season? This season, yeah. This season. All right, Russell Wilson, and number two, I'm going to go Patty Mahomes. Now, this is kind of where it gets tricky here. Uh, I'm going to go Aaron Rodgers at three, even though he's they're, they're kind of faltered a little bit. Um, now, I don't know. Four <laughs> and five, I guess. I mean, Josh Allen had a good run there for a couple of weeks. He said he could be an MVP candidate, but – I'll go Ben Roethlisberger and at four, not Josh Allen. I'm not putting him in my top five ever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I'll go say Kyler Murray. Wow. Okay. Just, 
just because he's winning games and he's been electric. <laughs> yeah, you let her win electric, don't you? All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but from after three, like, I mean, it's up for debate after three. Just, All right. Uh, All right. Uh, tell me who you got, man, your top five quarterback. I got uh, Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson, Tom Brady. Wash Brady. Brady. <laughs> Wash Brady. He still got some juice left in the tank. Uh, Rodgers at four. Five is a hard one. Hmm? Five is a hard one, I think. Yeah, five is definitely a hard one. Um, but for this season, I had I had Breeze at first. I had Breeze at five, but then I heard uh, Robbie say Kyler Murray. So I'm gonna give it to Kyler Murray for this season, just because what he's doing with the with the uh, Cardinals. So I'm gonna put Kyler at five right now. All right, uh, Jeff. Uh, so I'm gonna go top five quarterback this year: Russell, Aaron, Patty. I'm gonna go Ben because he's real super efficient, like. He's never – it's never like 23 of 45 passing. It'd be like 24 of 36. And you'd be like, damn, that's only 12 drops. So, you know what I'm saying? So that's not bad. And then number five, I'm going to put um, – hmm, this is a tough one. But uh, I can't even really think of like a Tom Brady, honestly. Like I, I don't know why he's come out of the – the top five, like, what did he do last year? He did numbers. Yeah, I mean, Ben, Ro- ben Roethlisberger has, statistically hasn't lit it up this year, but they're seven and zero, which is why I put him in my. Yeah, and I like, yeah. like I said, and I like that he's not having a bad completion percentage. Like, so it's not a lot of attempts with a half or less. Yeah. Even if he's only throwing for 182 yards, like he did this week. He was like, I mean, I think it might have been like 18 to 28, which isn't bad, really. Like, that's pretty good, honestly. Yeah. And two touchdowns. So, like, imagine if you threw it 36 times, he'd have had 360 yards, four touchdowns. If we're just talking, you know, I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah. All right, Jordan, you up. Um, So, uh, um, I'm going to say them, and then I'm going to just give you a reason for why I had it right. this way. All right. All right. But, Mahomes one, Wilson two, Rogers three, um, Deshaun Watson at four, and then I had Josh Allen at five. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna say, and I know Watson, I know that they're 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 trash or whatever. Um, but I put them, I put the five of them in the top five because like what they can just what they're able to do on the field. Like all okay. five of those guys are be able to will or can all five of those guys can drop back 50 times to throw it. All those guys can run with the rock. You feel what I'm saying? And the oldest one is probably Aaron Rodgers. You know what I'm saying? So if I had to take a look at those five and, you know what I'm saying, say today, the top five quarterbacks in today, who I would want to start my team with, one out of those five would be good for me. Okay. All right. Um, I like that. I like the reason. I like how you mixed it up there. Um, I'm going to go with Mahomes at one. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm going to go with uh, – yeah, I'm going to go with Mahomes at one too, man. Like, I, I guess because they're just winning and it, at this point it's become a custom in Kansas City that they win, but I think he's getting overshadowed a lot. But, yo, low-key, he got 20 touchdowns and one pick or something like that right now. So, it's right. like um, – or 21 and one, I think, or whatever. So, it's like crazy. And he don't make he don't make no mistakes. And he, and he can do everything on the field. So – I don't know why I wouldn't go with him. I got Russ at two, having a great season, but he also got six picks. So, and some of the picks were horrible, as we saw against Arizona. So, I'm, I'm gonna take him at two. Um, uh, I'm gonna go with a uh, old faithful Rogers man. Like Rogers still throw the prettiest ball in football to me. Um, he's super smart. He's probably the smartest one out of all of them, I think. And um, and uh, he's still dangerous as hell. That's another problem with Rodgers or whatever. So I'm going to go with him at three. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with Big Tom. I'm going to go, go with Tom at four. I think that Tom, um, you know, he's still got zip left. And he's also very, very smart. Some of the um, – even, even in, a, in a crazy little nasty game yesterday, but some of the calls, like, on the field were because of Tom or whatnot. So it's, it's that IQ that you see with Tom, even though he's not athletic or nothing like that. And, and he's still the best, like, within the pocket. Like his the way he shifted and move is, is crazy, bro. Um, and then number five, um, 
that's tough. But uh, I like I I I, I I'm gonna go with Kyler, man. Like Kyler has shown me a lot. Like I said, especially against uh, Seattle, and um, I think he's very poised right now. You know, even though he's only a second year, he's real poised in the pocket. He can throw the ball. He's super fast. Like you know, it's crazy. I think his receivers trust him. Fitz likes him. D Hop and him already got a rapport like really really quickly. It's all gonna get better. So I'm gonna go with Kyler at five. So th- those are my five. I mean, that's been his offense for, like, what, five years now? He's been yeah. with Kingsbury since high school. That's true. And he should that's know true. that in his sleep. Like, he needs to know where people are going to be, who to expect there. That's his offense. I know. I know. I know, which is dope or whatever like that. But uh, moving on forward, man, at this point, you all going to pick. I hope you got your picks or looking at them. Uh, pick a lock and an upset for week nine and stuff like that. So, um Let's start. Uh, who's been looking? I think Toby been looking. Let's start with Toby. I know he's been looking already. Okay. The lock, Steelers, and Cowboys. Super right. lock. Put the crib on it. <laughs> <laughs> Eight and all. Guaranteed. All right. Amen. And the upset, upseller, Seahawks at Bills. I think the Bills, my really upset. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's going to be an upset game. Trap game right there. The Seahawks, they are looking nice, but um, I feel like the Bills are going to catch them lacking me. That's my upset. Okay. All right. Uh, Robbie, I see you looking too. Who you got? All right. For my lock, I'm going to follow Toby. Right. And it's going to be a absolute bloodbath of a game for them. <laughs> Steelers are going to kill them. Whatever the spread is, 20, 30, 40. Steelers, <laughs> Steelers going to come. Hey, Cowboys are Cooper Rush, man. But if we but my <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, he can't be worse than Danucci. Right. But he definitely is not going to be that much better. <laughs> and then upset, you know, Indianapolis takes the W over Baltimore. Okay. Wow, really? Okay. All right. Dre, who you got, man? Um, I got the same lock as everybody else, Steelers and Cowboys. Um, upset of the week. I got the Chargers versus the Raiders, honestly. Um, well, who the upset? The upset? Chargers. Oh, we'll beat the Raiders? Okay. I got the Chargers over the Raiders. <laughs> okay. um, just because um, I think the Raiders have vulnerability. Oh, damn, I can't even fucking say it. Um, they're vulnerable. With the deep throw, Justin Herbert can sling it deep. Um, and that's all he does, is what it seems to be. He's averaging. The crazy thing is he's averaging like three and three yards a game. Uh, he's like top five in averaging averaging yards. So he, he can he can he can he can, so he can sling it downfield. So I have the charge over the Raiders. Uh, to, uh, so Toby, Jeff, Jeff, who you got? Uh, I think my lock is uh, damn. I hate to even say it. Uh, my lock is. Houston over Jacksonville. They starting that rookie quarterback, Lupton. I like they go, that's a problem. Yeah. Uh, my upset is uh, <clears throat> Jacksonville over Houston. You know, you just never know. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know upset, like, nah, nah, but no, for real, for real. Um, my upset is I'm, I'm I'm actually going with Robbie on this one. Indianapolis over the Colts. I could see it happening. I don't really – I don't know. Like, they both – good teams or have winning records, so I don't even know if it could really be an upset, but because of... Yeah. Ra- 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 Ravens will be favorite, so... Yeah, 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 it'll be favorite, but I, the Colts can definitely get them. Definitely get them. Yeah, that should be a good... That, that should be a good... That defense... It'll be the best that, game all night, all day. I, I don't know about that. It's a good game next week. Why but, not? Huh? There's some really good games next week. What you mean? You got, you got to play... Is. It is. The Bucks. You got yeah. the uh, Miami and the Cardinals. Seahawks. Be a good game. Oh, putting the ticket in the use this week. Seahawks <laughs> and the Bills. You got the Bears and the Titans. Some yeah. Games. No, yeah. no, man. That Indianapolis defense and Rivers playing well last week. I got the Ravens winning. That man, they going. They going. They going. They getting clamped this week. Pull up Rivers up. They getting clamped this week. He's it's not like Lamar going to blow somebody out like. <laughs> And we're not talking, we're talking about the number one defense in the league. And they're going to run on them, bro. They're going to run on them. And they're going to clamp down. Uh, the Ravens is tight. They just took an L. 
Philip yeah, Rivers back fucking statue down, down there. He's he going to be getting back. fucking toasted. He's going to toast it. He might get hurt. And this might be the day he go home. He go <laughs> fuck him. Want better bottle on it? Huh? Want better bottle on it? Shit. I ain't doing that. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that's that's what I <laughs> you wouldn't bet bottle on it. I mean, I'm presenting it like, as if I'm ready to too. Hell no. You're I mean, not going to bet. What's up, Toby? Yeah. Bottle on that, Toby? On what? On, um, on what, so who, who you got? Who you got that? You got the, you got the, uh, you got the Colts. You got Indianapolis? In Indianapolis, yeah. I got I got the Ravens, man. Put a bottle on it, man. Oh, all right. right. I want that shit ship here. I want that shit ship here. Huh? Hey. I want that shit ship here. Right. He'll, be up, he'll be up here soon. He'll give it to you. He ain't worried about it. Yeah, I got the Just cool. take a – give him your share of DraftKings. My nah, share of DraftKings. Nah, yeah. Give me your share. Give me your share. Nah. <laughs> well, anyway, the bet – You got three of them, though, at $30. Uh, nah. The bet is on wax. We ain't got to uh, shake yeah. – you ain't got to shake hands. So, it's on the uh, – bottom on, bottom on the coat. What kind of bottom we got? What kind of bottle you yeah, talking? I know Toby drink henny. Henny. Henny, Patron, whatever. Oh, so there we go. There we go. What's okay. up, Jory? Are you still scared? I would say, do say. Nah, I would I don't, say. I don't, it's two lanes right, off the table. That's my bit. That, that's, that's, that. that. that's my bottle right there. Stop it. Stop it. I just Lamar, right. Lamar going to look terrible this week. Man, I just earned a free bottle. Sheesh. Sheesh. Yeah. <laughs> Lock that in. Boy. All right. All right, my well. birthday gift easy. Don't even worry. Right. <laughs> easy. Easy, huh? All right, man. Well, uh, we'll see what we'll we visit the next show and see who won the bottle and whatnot. But moving on forward, man, I, I'm uh, when I'm moving forward, mine, I will take, um, you know, I was trying to be different, but um, I, I like the Bills over the Seahawks for my upset. I kind of like that to happen, especially because of the um, – Seahawks defense. I don't know if uh, uh, Diggs and Allen might ball out against that defense. To be honest with you. So mm -hmm. Buffalo uh, home. Uh, yeah, Buffalo, Buffalo home. home. Yeah, Buffalo mm -hmm. home. Travel too. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yep. Yeah. And I'm gonna go with my lock as the Chiefs over the Panthers. That's a you know easy That's lock. No, man. I got you. no man. I don't know. I ain't gonna lock that one. I ain't even gonna lie to you. What are you saying, bro? bro you know what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. A lot, I, 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 I'm not saying the Panthers are gonna win it all, but then what are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying they, they 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 could give them some problems because bro, the Panthers can throw the ball. Okay. Lot, look at, suck, go look go go look at the Panthers' offensive stats and then you just lost to the Falcons, bro. I'm not, I don't feel that. <laughs> yo, y'all talk about this. Yo, this that's a division game though. Oh, teams man. get up for that type of shit. Listen, man, you are they what your record suck. says you are. Team, the teams get up for that type of shit, bro. You can't count nobody. That's why. That's why I said the same shit about the Eagles game, bro, because you can't knock them, bro. Also, uh, I will say, uh, did, did, did Teddy get hurt in that game, too? Um, let's talk For a little bit. He did. He came back. He came back, though. But, bro, yo, we talked about Teddy. Remember we talked about Teddy in the beginning of the year? Yo, they put numbers, bro. Teddy Bridgewater is top 10 in yards. All right? He's – how many touchdowns he got? They're going to end with a sub – I mean, yeah, record. I know. But they got oh, two. Yeah, they, got, they got a forty-five degree receivers. angle going. Yeah, it's a wrap. Catch your L, bro. They got two wide receivers in the top ten in yards. They're not bad. But they, hey, um, McCaffrey is coming back this week, so I'm gonna help him that's out. That's still a lot. That's what I'm so. saying. Like, so it don't uh, matter, Mike. Mean, but you always you. say you'll never take the person fresh off the injury. You never. Yeah. You know, they never yeah. How many snaps is he gonna actually play? Yeah, I, know. I need like four garbage time touchdowns after they're down forty-five. That's why I'm keeping. That's why I'm keeping I'm Mike Davis. Toby. That's why I'm keeping Mike Toby. Davis. I'm Toby. I'm playing. No, no, Robbie playing Toby. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, Toby, take care. Of, yo, yo, bro. If you don't win, I ain't give you nothing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to win that. I'm about to win that game, and I'm about to win that bottle. So, yeah, you two gonna dubs. win that game? That's about it. You win that game, <laughs> that bottle, and, and Pittsburgh gonna win. You gonna have a good weekend. Three for three. Mm -hmm. uh, his luck ain't that good. <laughs> it's my week. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> anyway, moving on forward, man. So now, what you asked for, Jeff, we will do the power right. rankings for the top right. five teams. Since you asked for it, why don't you start? Top five teams right. in the NFL. So I'm going Pittsburgh, Kansas City, 
Uh, then after Pittsburgh, after Kansas City, then I'm going to go with New England. Uh, they look sound. I know they was a little sloppy, but they had a little disciplinary action during the game. Wait, who? New England. Oh, okay. you know what I mean. Tampa Bay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Tampa Bay. Uh, I think that little disciplinary mm. thing kind of threw everybody for shell shock during the game. They still were able to squeeze it out. I think they'll bounce back to their normal self next week. Then I'm going to follow that up with the Buffalo Bills. They're still getting busy. They're going up in the four now because, like I said, um, I just think the other teams that lost um, and who they lost to factors in. And last, I'm going to go with the Packers. I ain't taking them out the top five, but they took that L to uh, Minnesota. Minnesota been terrible. And Cook just ran up on them like a, tri- like a trick with a credit card from an old dude. Like, just run it up. Three touchdowns, four touchdowns <laughs> total. So, yeah, I got, a, like I said, Pittsburgh, Kansas City, uh, Tampa Bay, Buffalo, and then the Green Bay Packers. Okay. All right. Uh, Robert, who you got? I'm going to piggyback off of Jeff's foot. Uh, so, Pittsburgh, Kansas City. Um, I'm going to go Seattle at number three. And then Buffalo and Tampa Bay. But uh, I, there's no way you can put the Packers over Seattle for me right now. Not after the – they just lost to the Vikings, bro. The Vikings suck. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Cardinals, the, the Seahawks play some tight games against some terrible teams. They won. Tight <laughs> oh games, though. Like, they, you know what I'm saying? They're they not showing it that, that complete. Um, but, you know, okay, like I said, it's, you know. All right. It's yeah. All right, Toby, who you got, man? Steelers, because they're undefeated. Chiefs, because they're the Chiefs and they only have one loss, Patrick Mahomes. Buccaneers at three, uh, number four, Seattle, and number five, Baltimore. Um, I don't know. Baltimore should still be in everybody's top five um, because they're still a very good team, and they're still going to go on to win plenty of games. Matt and Luck with 10 or 11, maybe 12 wins, um, and they still have a great defense. And Seattle can score with anybody, so that's why they're in there because – you're going to have to outscore uh, Russell Wilson. Okay. Um, Jordan, what you got, bro? No, nah, yeah, I was going to say, I, got, I literally have the same top five as Toby. Um, actually, I got um, the Steelers at number one because they're undefeated. Got the Chiefs at number two because they got Pat Mahomes, um, Brady, um, and the Bucks at three. Seattle at number four. And then I got to give it to Baltimore um, just because they – are actually a more all-around complete, more of a complete team than Buffalo. I think when it will matter, like I talked about that earlier in previous shows, we talked about, like I talked about Josh Allen and Lamar and why I would take Josh Allen right now over Lamar. But I also think that going into the playoffs, uh, uh, um, having a running game like the Ravens do and a, a defense that they have gives them the advantage over Buffalo. Uh, as long as they play like it, you know what I'm saying? So I got to give them, you know, Baltimore number five because, like Toby said, they're probably going to steamroll everybody else. Hey, didn't so. they just lose uh, Marlon Humphrey to COVID, too? I think mm-hmm. too. Yeah. 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 That's going to be tough. They lost, be- they lost Mark Ingram, too, but I, I don't know why they ever even, like, they drafted J.K. Dobbins, and, like, he should start for the rest of the year. Like, J.K. is nice. He needs to start for the rest of the year for them. Mark Ingram is, is just not like it. three running backs. Uh-huh. Yeah, and yeah. they got the other ball. They got a uh, – I hate running backs by committee. Edwards, right? Deep. We got three running backs. Yeah. Yeah. I think he was Rutgers for real. Yeah. All right, well, Edwards. Yeah, Edwards. Yeah, Gus Edwards. Yeah, they got him too. Mm-hmm. All right. I, I'm, I'm going to take a page out of Jordan book last week and go from five up to one. So I kind of like that or whatever. So I'm going to go uh, Seahawks at five. I still think – um. You know, their, their defense is just not great. But mm. but Russ finds a way, man. And, and I still like Pete Carroll. And like you said, man, with Metcalf and Lockett, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to go with them. Um, number four, I'm going to go with um, – probably going to go with the – uh, 
with, with Buffalo. Yeah, yeah. Buffalo, man, they um they're a good team. Solid on defense and the offense that came together. Number three, I'm gonna go with Tampa Bay. Um, you know, cause they, they definitely won that game yesterday. Uh they got A B coming in. Um got got one only out a few weeks. He'll be back. They have so many weapons, bro. It's crazy. And then, um, as you can see, they, they could lose a running back. Not lose them, but not play a running back and still win the game. So, I'm going to go with that. Um, and then, number two, I'm going to go with, uh, with with the Chiefs and whatnot. Because, again, man, they're low-key. Nobody's paying attention to the Chiefs and whatnot. And they're just mm-hmm. like – and they're like, like like refining themselves right now. Like, nobody even knows what's going on. Like, one week and, – and they're pretty – and they're pretty uh, solid all around, too, the Chiefs, low-key, man. Because one week – They'll have a good running game. Pat, Pat Mahomes have two 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 hundred yards, two touchdowns. That's when he got he got five touchdowns. So it's like you never know. And then they got Watkins back off injury, I think, this last week too. So yeah. that helps them out. Yeah. And uh, number one, of course, I gotta go with the terrible <laughs> child. Baby, the oh man! <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> terrible, yeah. And, uh, no, and uh, it, it'll be a seven and zero man. Like and and again, like y'all all been saying a little bit throughout the show, they might wind up ten and zero. You know what I mean? Because the the fact that you know they got so many bad teams on their schedule. I ain't seen up. that shit. Oh, uh, this hater. Hater. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. But um, all right. So that's um. That's that. All right. Well, now we come to the last portion of the show, man. I hope you guys have been enjoying the show. Uh, everybody's watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, of course. But um, out of balance time, everybody get one to two minutes to discuss the topic if they have something to talk about. Um, and we just, uh, you know, kind of end the show that way. Last week, we had the uh, 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 Eagles back and forth rant between Jordan and Toby, which was, which was pretty fun and whatnot. <laughs> but uh, let's see where we're going to go this week, man. Uh, who wants to start? I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. Or not. I'll, I'll go real quick. I got some uh, okay special guests. So <laughs> just like it seems like everything, and I'm going to talk about the Eagles since that wasn't one of the uh, conversations this week. Yeah. But like yeah. it seems like every single thing they do has been wrong. Like it, Howie hasn't gotten a single thing right. Jalen Rieger, who looked okay, is just in Justin Jefferson, who is a beast. Absolute monster was available. We didn't even trade up for him. It's just been eating. So he's uh, he's been great. And then Wentz has just been god awful. The dude can't throw. He can't stop fumbling. He can't stop throwing to the wrong team. <laughs> it's like it's awful. Said, said, I'm, I'm off the Wentz wagon. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yo, seriously, we threw. Like, did you watch? Like, not saying Foles has been amazing, but did you see him on on Sunday? Foles clutch, man. Yeah. Dude was yeah. pretty good. When they lost and he couldn't <laughs> score in overtime. Oh, I'm, oh that falls. Yeah. That, that, Dude. That, that falls. Yeah. Right. We had, we let the Cowboys score nine points on us. <laughs> oh, come on. It's terrible. Bro. If you the been, Eagles offense only scored 15, courtesy of Mike. I, I think if we all. If we all picked a friend and then brought a wild card in, I think we could hold the Cowboys to nine points. <laughs> 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 With Ben DiNucci, come on, man. That was embarrassing for us. A seventh oh, round pick, third third string rookie. That's crazy. Come yeah. On. No. That's what it is. All right. You, you done, Robbie? All right, moving on for it, man. Yeah. Let's go to uh let's go to Jeff, man. What you got, man? Uh I ain't got much, man. Fantasy talk, fantasy talk, fantasy talk. Yeah, we're coming up the charts. You know what I'm saying? Coming up the charts. <laughs> I need Mike Thomas to get on the field this week, Mike. So if you happen to just come across this video as you're on YouTube, bro, get on the field. I need some points. <laughs> man. He, he, he played this week, but it was a bad hammy. Hammy's come back and forth. You got to be careful with yeah, that. Yeah, I know. I know. I need Juju to do something too, man. Show me some love, man. Do something, man. And, uh, you know, that's about it, man. All right. Toby? Um... I got nothing to say. Excuse me. All right. All right. All right. Jerry. <laughs> uh, no, I, mean, I, 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 I got to put you on the clock. Go ahead. Jerry. All right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, I mean, back to, I mean, you feel me? Of course, I'm going to talk about my Eagles. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Um, I'm not going to give up on Carson Wentz, man. I'm I'm going to put it here on the table. Uh, man, you know I'm going I'm to I'm 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 put it on the show right now so we got it on record. I'm going to wait one more year, you feel me? Um, and this is why, you know what I'm saying? So you look at what they did his rookie year. His rookie year, he ain't played. How many, how many games he played his rookie year? 
think he only played, he played like. 11. No, he played all sixteen. He played all sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Was, okay. So then you look at that, right? They 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 weren't too good. You go to year two. He's an MVP candidate. It gets hurt. Nick Foles wins the Super Bowl. You go next year after that. He was he's not fully healthy. He only plays about five to seven games. Nick Foles takes them. They go to the playoffs. <laughs> they lose, right? And then bro, they, Alshon Jeffrey catches that ball. They win the Super Bowl again. Oh man, that was like probably, the second round. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I have to skip the conference championship. I know, right? It's crazy. <laughs> bro, get out of here, you guys. You guys. Yeah, you guys were that actually same insane. day, yo. You remember that day? Like, yo, Nick Foles got that too. magic. Big facts. Big facts. I wasn't saying bro. that shit. <laughs> you wasn't saying that shit, bro. Bro, it was the second round, and the game wasn't over. It was still 30 yards to go. How the hell y'all win the Super Bowl? Robbie, we know. We not. Momentum was know, there, yeah. though. It was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you guys know. So then they do that, right? Yeah. So that so Carson Wentz hasn't really been healthy. Last year was Carson Wentz's full season healthy. He get he takes that hit versus Seahawks. He goes down. The problem with the Eagles right now First is that quarter. now <laughs> – Problem with the Eagles now is that Carson Wentz can finally be healthy and everyone else can't be healthy around him. Now, Howie hasn't hit on everything, uh, but you can't say Howie's like been, been, been terrible, terrible. Like he's gotten some decent guys in free agency. Brandon Brooks was huge. Dallas Goddard hit. Miles Sanders hit. Andre Dillard. Jerry's still out. We'll see. Uh, Darius Slay has been decent. Uh, Picked how's up, up bro? <laughs> I, I interrupted him. I interrupted him. Let him uh, all right, all right. All right. All I'm saying is, man, like, 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 like I said earlier, like Wentz deserves all the criticism, the negative criticism that he receives. I will not doubt that. I will not, you know, he deserves all the negative criticism that he's received, but he doesn't get enough credit for the things that he does when we win. Because at the end of the day, when we win or we are in position to win, he is solely the only reason that we are in position or we win any game. So he deserves all the negative criticism, but he deserves a lot more credit for the W's. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, man. All right, See, Mike, go ahead. I was trying not to talk about the Eagles. I didn't, I didn't put them on the topics, but somebody's still creeping the show. Thank God. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how. But. They got a section every week. I, I tried to not put him in the show, but somehow to get in the show. Jordan wants to do his <laughs> stew his nonsense with his Wentz love. The last rider on the Wentz wagon, you know, it's meant to be called or whatever like that. I'm gonna stay on. I'm gonna stay on until the wheels fall off, baby. Bro, there's only one wheel left. But as tire. <laughs> <laughs> But as they said, bro, and I, I'm, I'm going to use my time to count on him because this is fun. But you can't get credit for something if you put me in that position. Again, if you threw me in the pool, you can't get credit for saving me from drowning. That's ridiculous or whatever. Number two. Stay, if I ain't saved you, you'd be dead. I would have been in there before because of you. That's all right, though, bro. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. You, you try to kill me at the end of the day. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they want to save right? me, like pat me on the you back. You ain't dead. You ain't dead. <laughs> so yeah, so man, thin, I saved bro. your life. You threw me in, man. I saved right. your life. <laughs> look, look, I shot, I shot you and I drove you to the hospital. You better be thankful. <laughs> still, still same thing, bro. Like, listen, not a real talk, right? So we, we talked about it, right? So we said the reason that uh, the Ravens lost that game because Lamar had four turnovers. Well, Carson had four turnovers and won the game. Why? Because of the trash-ass team with a trash-ass quarterback or whatever like mm -hmm. that. So that should have been another L. So I don't know how the hell you get credit for that with Jordan named earlier, but whatever. Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, secondly, Howie. Can I move past? I'm going to move past him. For, no, forget, before Howie, let's go to uh, Dougie P. Dougie P has regressed a lot, bro. Okay? He is – yo, that, that fucking fourth down call was ridiculous. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know what he's doing. He went to always show on? he's the one where Carson fumbled the ball. Yeah. Like he want okay. to always show that he's, like, pushing the envelope and, and stuff like that, bro. Just stop and whatnot. And um, I, I, he look at few I'm trying to be these days. Like, he's he not confident in his play calls. I don't know what he's doing these days. Like, I, I really think he has progressed. Howie, yeah, Howie made some d decent moves, but he also paid Deshaun Jackson to do nothing for two years. For sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, sure. It's been 50-50. I guess at the time you had to pay Alshon, but that was a little bit bad contract. That's that's, that's turned out worse in the end of the day. Um, yeah. And um, 
And I think he paid Carson early, too early or whatever like that. You'll never know. So that's just me on that situation. Um, but um, and I want my whole time. I, like I got I got a little more time left or whatever. But that's my thoughts on the Eagles. I told you about Wentz years ago. You don't want to believe me, but whatever. It, it is what it is, bro. Um, Brother, he was good. He was good. You can't deny that. He was good. He was great. Great. 12 games. That's it. He was way better he was than this. Huh? Yeah, I mean, it sucks now. I'm not going to deny that. And I don't think he's ever going to get back to like anything I think close. Ben's but is is messed up a little bit for whatever reason. Like, what? it's something what? is mental. Like, no. his, his, the way he processes things is like, like Mike said, like, Mike, like you said, Mike, he's regressed. But I also think the way he's processing things on the field and reading things is like, way like it's it's like it's it's gotten slower it's gotten just like it's gotten nah, well well I, I said Dougie P regrets but but Wentz he holds the ball too long it's really simple as that he always tries to make the home run play and the big play yeah and stuff like yeah. that and D- uh, Doug P definitely regrets a little but I mean yeah. I, I still trust him as a coach more than I trust Wentz as a quarterback <laughs> and um, um and, and I and I feel like that uh he um like I don't think he's ever going to be great again, like Robbie said. But he could be good if he just gets rid of the ball and stops trying to make the home run play and stuff like that because he still does have a good arm and he's still talented. So, so let me ask you decisions. Then. Let yeah. me ask you then. Who gets the credit when we win? We only got – we got three wins on the season. Who gets the – who, who, who me, won all those games? Let me tell you I credit him for two win. wins. I credit him for two wins. Two wins? Two. San Francisco and the one against the Giants. Last okay. week – Against the Cowboys. No, 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 no. He was horrible. He was horrible against the Giants, too, dude. He threw yeah, one pass man. at the end of the game, but you can't. Bro, if that, Evan Ingram catches credit. the ball, the Giants win the game, like, pretty much. No yeah. matter of fact, if, if he catches the ball or fucking Dougie, uh, Danny Dimes don't trip over nobody, yeah, the Giants yeah. win the game. Win the game yeah. or whatever. Well, they still score. <laughs> they still, yeah, still score that drive, yeah. yeah. This I, I I I hear you on that, bro. I mean, the only reason I'm not giving like, like I don't know, man. I and, just and listen, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I watched these games, bro, and we talked about it. I think Toby said it too, yo. Like the tie, the defense kept y'all from not losing in the overtime when I had the tie versus the Bengals. And what? We were mm-hmm. down though. He was the he brought us back. He tied the but, game. But then y'all couldn't score for y'all couldn't that's, score. I mean, I get I and, and but yeah, but I mean, and right, you, that's and I agree, and I, I agree with that, bro. But I'm just like. All right, here's my thing. Has he beaten a good team with a good quarterback this season? No. And then no. Uh, and, uh, he won't. <laughs> but he won't. He won't this year. I mean, we're listen, gonna, we're gonna win six games and then we're make gonna the beat and make a run. Those <laughs> games both and then destroyed in the in the in the, in the first round. <laughs> yeah, and and, and listen, the win last week was more of an indictment than a good thing to me. Like I said, the Cowboys were the worst defense in 30 years in the whole NFL. Well, That's crazy. But bro. But bro, it's 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 the, the way I look game. at it. Hold on, the way I look at it is this. No, no, hold on. The no, offense no. only scored fifteen. Points. No, in all seriousness, this is the way I look at it. Look at how much ridicule the Dallas Cowboys have taken over the whole season. They've been disrespected. People have been talking about them all year. They've been talking about their heart. They've been talking about because they're their, trash. Their, like, well, hold on, but they've been talking about their heart. <laughs> they've been talking about their effort. Right, that fifteen type points, of bro. Shit, that type of shit when you were when you were when you were on the foot when you play ball, that type of shit'll hurt you. That should have hurt your feelings. So I think Dallas came into this game like we've been disrespected all season. We hate the Eagles. We damn sure and the Eagles damn near just as bad as us. We ain't about to get our ass kicked to the ass kicked by the Eagles. Bro, they kick, you gotta bro, get it's, it's bro, not that bro, good listen, to hold that for 15 points, no matter how hard. How hard they want to play. <laughs> but, but bro, how listen, hard they want to play, they sit and clamp out. Dallas defense we showed up. And I don't even know who to start. And, 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 and I see why Robbie's so upset. It's not like Wentz went from top 10 to top 20. He like bottom 10 right now, Wentz. Like he's really bad. He's bottom five. <laughs> bro, he hasn't, he hasn't posted a game with the over 100 QBR. He's like, I think the only court starting quarterback in the league that hasn't done it. No, he's bad. I mean, he's dead. He's dead last. He's dead last. But and like QBR, like, and, 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 but look, he's he last in that. But he's bad, number. Bro. But he's number one in turnovers, more than Danny Dimes. And Danny had two and last got, night, and he's still and he's got, got more Danny more Dimes than Lamar Jackson. What happened? Mm. Like exactly. my my thing is. He could still be good, but I don't, I don't see. I don't see it happening. He could be good. It's I'm, not great. He could be good. It's not great. Not great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just it, not good. Like, you know. If that if that was if, if that division was any better, 
he probably would they probably would have gave Jalen Hurts a chance because and look the fumble the yeah. fumble and look the fumbles are not new like Jeff always said he's been fumbling yeah not he's nice been adding, and interceptions yeah, but, too. So, yo, the Cubs talked about, Listen, the it, talked about, oh, it's the Dallas Cowboys and it's a rivalry game and all this other shit. When I just talked about the Panthers and they lost to the Falcons, that's a rivalry game. They gonna get up for that shit. No fucking they rivalry. Suck, bro. Those teams suck. <laughs> <laughs> these, these, these teams suck too. Some of the <laughs> Eagles and the Cowboys. So <laughs> they you both suck, <laughs> bro. Any uh, div- like, bro, any division game, any team is gonna get up for, bro. You can I'll give you that. Division games are tough. You guys aren't giving enough credit to the bro. But yeah, the Cowboys are historically bad, and they're playing with a scrub ass quarterback. Yeah, they have nobody. Else. I don't even know who that dude was. That quarterback. Bro, he shouldn't but, have had even nine points. Like yo, the fact that we let him get nine is. Yo, one of my friends did a bet for um the cow. I mean, the Eagles would be winning at halftime, and they were losing at halftime because they. <laughs> Dallas, That's supposed to be a lock. No, That's supposed bro, to be Dallas, a lock. Dallas has talent on defense. Like they don't have injuries. They just aren't. They just not, aren't playing well. Like they're just not good. They, they showed up. Season, man. You have to give them credit, bro. They showed up. They haven't stuck held. They, they had like two thirty oh, games in the first two games of the season. On defense. Jeff, but you can't sit there and say, oh, well, yeah, they, they suck. But, like, you have to give them credit. Like, they showed up, bro. Eagles they showed that bad, up bro. to play. They showed up yeah. to play. They I mean, suck, they, but my, they showed up, bro. Like, I'm not about my, to say my, la- my last thoughts about Wentz are, if, yeah, if we were winning games and he wasn't playing that well, fine. That, that's not a big deal to me. But yeah. he's just god awful, and we're at our the rest of our team is just as trash. So Horrible, he, he's bad, like, bad, 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 bad. But, yeah. I, but you know, I don't want to keep going about it. But I'm just saying, like, yeah. yo, I, I I didn't think he would get this bad. To be honest with you, me like, either. Right? Like I, I don't think anybody did. Nobody. Yeah. Nope, nobody. Well, he was did. good last year. He was pretty good last year. To me, he we was better receivers last year this too. year. He was. Yeah, he was yeah. decent last year. But... He's worse. He's a lot worse. Yeah, he's definitely bad, but. I'm gonna give him credit. Like I, I'm, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give people the credit when it's when, when it's due. I'm gonna give Dallas defense credit for showing up. You feel me? And I'm also gonna give Carson Wentz credit for you feel me. Putting Yo, this in watch, the- watch this week when Pittsburgh put forty on Dallas. <laughs> like that's deals. cool. We put <laughs> we put up twenty nine. I need that. We put up, we put up more. You, than put up fi- you put a fifteen put up, on Dallas, bro. What you talking about? We put up. More we, we put up more points in, on the Steelers than the Ravens did. So what you saying? Wait, yeah, I think y'all put the same amount of points up. No, no, we had twenty nine. Yeah, no, we played well against the Steelers. That was the and whole the Steelers game, put twenty nine up on the Ravens. Yo, I just looked at y'all schedule. If if you want to convince convince me that y'all good, I mean you're gonna beat the Giants. I think y'all coming off the bye. I'm gonna play the Giants. Y'all yeah, the play Brown. the Browns. You can play beat the Browns. Me. after. Okay, I'm talking about the Browns. Beat the Browns. Say the Browns. Beat, Beat the, the Browns. Browns. We're not beating the Browns. You got to get the Browns. Yo, 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 yo. Browns. Yo, are <laughs> 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 not good. What you mean, you they're good? They're not good. Because, okay. listen, if you lose after the Browns, right? Browns, Seahawks, Green Bay, L, Saints. L, Cardinals. L, Oh, my L. goodness. Okay, so those, are all, those are all losses. I'm gonna give you that, bro. But the Browns, the Browns, you gotta beat the Browns. We can't yeah, beat it. Typically, mm-hmm. uh, typically, I've been a homer too. But these dudes are making me block out three, four hours of my Sunday every week just to make <laughs> me watch this shitty ass football. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not even bro, enjoyable. Like the Sunday Browns night was are awful, shaped- bro. It was, but like, bro, the Browns Yo, are just like the fourth. Let me ask like- you this, Jordan, about something that uh, Stephen A. said today, or was yesterday. But he said uh, that if, uh, what did he say? If it was Donovan, he wouldn't get a pass like Carson. Oh, yeah, right yeah, now. he did say that. Yeah. What did you say, bro? Stephen A. said if it was McNabb, he wouldn't get a pass like Carson is getting for playing his back. Well, what do you think about that? I don't know. Oh, nah, yeah, nah, nah, definitely, definitely, definitely agree. But I mean, yeah, McNabb, McNabb never played the city. But McNabb also <laughs> McNabb, <laughs> McNabb, McNabb also, you feel me? I mean, some of those teams McNabb played on were weren't, you know, they weren't good, but they were better than this team. I mean, he never had good receivers, were, brother, either or whatnot. So. Yeah, he was they were better than this team. Uh, I, I mean, y'all just, I mean, I just like the Beat the Browns, bro. I'm waiting for y'all to come off the bar and beat the Browns, man. If the, All if, right. if, if it's just heartbreaking, man. This hurts. Yeah. All right, we'll do this. All in the right. Show.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. With that being said, man, uh, it's another episode of Beyond the Trenches. We appreciate y'all watching. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you, you know, for the rest of the panel, man, I'm Big Mike, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Next week. All right, hey. y'all. Peace. Peace. Talk about the birds. They terrible.